What's up folks? This is your boy Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. I think the craziest thing about having a booktube or YouTube channel about books and sneakers is that they attract very different audiences. So I knew going into this that likely my book content wouldn't get a lot of views from sneakerheads and my sneaker content wouldn't get a lot of views from bookworms. However, I always want to seize an opportunity where I can blend the two together to appeal to both cultures and both worlds. And today I will be using one of my favorite books to do that. And that book is Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Before this book, I had no, I, no idea who Phil Knight was. And I'm sure a lot of people don't because he is a, a very low-key and humble guy. Not much about celebrity. But even if you haven't heard of Phil Knight, you should very well know the brand he found and created, and that is Nike, which is quite possibly the most well-known and iconic athletic empire in the history of the United States of the universe. Unless you grew up deep in the forest of Amazon, you know what Nike is. You probably own or have owned a pair of Nikes, even if it was the dad shoes. If you don't own, you know someone who owns a pair of Nikes, probably a family member, a kid, a sibling. There, I mean, Nike is everywhere. They're also very well known for creating the Jordan brand, which is a culture within itself. So that is why I selected this book to talk about today, because it appeals to both the sneakerhead and bookworm in me. When I discovered this book, it was on Audible as a recommendation because I do appreciate a good memoir. However, I had no idea that I would enjoy this book as much as I did. I'm going to break this down into two categories to kind of give you an idea of why you should read this book. For the bookworm, if you appreciate a good memoir, it's an excellent read or an excellent listen because it delves deep into the history of Nike, its creation, the vision that Phil Knight had, his relentless pursuit to make it happen. I mean, he had pitfall after pitfall, roadblock after roadblock, but he never gave up. He kept pushing. No matter what happened, he believed in himself and he believed in this dream that oddly enough came to him when he was tracking through Japan. So it's, it's really an inspiring story for anyone who has ever thought about giving up on a vision. If you just keep going and if you believe wholeheartedly that this vision is something you can bring to life, then you know, just keep at it. So it's a very inspiring tale. Also, it's a lot of drama. There is backstabbing, court cases, political machinations, um, family dynamics, sacrifice, survival. I mean, the tales in this memoir run the gamut. And I think no matter what genre you like, if you are a fan of just a good narrative, you will appreciate Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. For the sneakerheads out there, I don't think I need to say too much. This is a backstage pass and to the development, creation, culmination, and invention 
of the most culturally culturally significant sneaker brand and that has ever been created from the beginnings of 1962 all the way into 1980 and each chapter is a different year so it's a very detailed story i only hope that there is a part two released because you know 1980 that is when nike went public and you know the story definitely does not end there about this huge brand that everyone any whether you're into athletics or you're into fashion everyone appreciates a good solid nike sneaker for those of you who do appreciate sneakers you won't just look at your Nikes as shoes anymore, you will know that it's a story behind them, that literally blood, sweat, and tears, and passion went into these products that we just wear on our feet every day without even thinking all that went into creating this brand and how much effort was put into bringing this vision to life. So it's just a very passionate story. I will say one thing. This story is kind of semi-marketed as a rags to riches story. It is not because Phil Knight, despite all the setbacks and roadblocks he encountered with bringing Nike to life, definitely was a young man of some privilege. He had a very successful, you know, very successful household. He had very successful parents and his father did help him, help him in some ways. And he had certain advantages that other people would not have. But still, even with that, he, I can't deny the hard work and the doggedness that he put into creating this brand and all the people he recruited and inspired to help him grow this brand. If you're an entrepreneur, I think you can get a lot from this book. If you're, you are a manager of an agency or a company, you can learn a lot about working with people and recruiting team members and boosting morale. Like it's a, it's a lot you can learn from reading the story of Phil Knight. I recommend it to, to anybody, or if you just want a good casual read and a nice entertaining story, it is perfect for that. Like the drama will keep you turning the page you would want to know what happens next. Like this is one of the most engrossing and thrilling and rewarding memoirs I think I have ever read. And I think most people will appreciate it no matter your book tastes. Whether you're a bookworm who just appreciates a great narrative and a great journey, or you're a sneakerhead who wants to learn more about that iconic swoosh that we so covet. Or if you just want to learn about entrepreneurship and personal growth, this is a story for you. So please do yourself a favor, add this to your TBR read it on a nice cool day you're not doing much or listen to it and i guarantee it guarantee it you will not regret it okay this is your boy darko you've been watching kindles and kicks like subscribe comment i'll see you next time peace hello this is kato